The beauty industry really doesn't want you to know where snail mucin comes from, and there's a lot of questions as to whether or not snail mucin is actually kind or cruelty-free. Well, I am diving into all the details and actually going to Korea to try to get some answers to my questions, but for the time being, it looks like snails are put in wash machine-like containers, and yeah, some of them do get squished in the manufacturing process. Now, in general, a lot of people who probably aren't up to speed on international beauty trends are probably like, wait a second, you're gonna put snail slime? on your face? Why the heck would you do that? Well, I, as your resident medical esthetician and acne big sister, and yes, snail mucin has actually been shown to help with acne, I'm going to break down the science behind why people want to use it in their skincare, and then three alternatives that don't actually contain snail, but have similar, if not nearly identical properties that are wound healing, acne helpful, but cruelty free and snail free. Let's start off with speaking about snails. Snails are cephalopods and specifically showed up in the Cambrian era, but they've actually been used throughout history and even eaten as delicacies in places such as France in the form of escargot. Now, I don't know the first person who decided that snail or that slug is leaving behind a trail of goo and I'm gonna take it and put it on my face, but somebody did. And then other people got around to testing it and saying, wow, it's actually really rich in different vitamins and minerals. It's actually really hydrating and actually quite wound healing. And since then, the beauty industry did what the beauty industry loves to do, runs with marketing and talks about how snail is great for acne and for wound healing and how it has compounds in it that can help regulate the skin barrier and help with function. Now, while that all seems great, the beauty industry doesn't really like to tell us exactly what is in snail slime. And it wasn't until some scientists literally put it through a mass spectrometer and started looking at exactly what different elements were inside of snail mucin and started literally putting the goo into centrifuges to trying to spin it out and figure it out that we actually got some answers. And the good news is that, yeah, snail mucin can be hydrating, it can be slightly wound healing, and it does have ingredients like zinc that can be helpful for skin. But now that we know the answer of what is actually in snail mucin and what is it good for, it's still very elusive as to how the snail slime is extracted. There are certain brands that say that they promote happy snails because if they kill the snails, then the snails won't produce slime and that the snails have to be happy or horny to produce the slime. But again, from what I've seen online and what I'm currently investigating, it appears that some snails are electrocuted and it appears that others are put in wash machines and kind kind of get crushed in order to extract the slime. So either way, whether it's for cruelty-free reasons, whether it's for gross factor, or anything else, if you're looking to get the benefits of snail mucin in your routine without the cruelty or without the ick factor, there are some options that as a medical esthetician, I think are even better. Especially because these brands were able to add other ingredients such as niacinamide or such as centella to make some of these serums even more hydrating and more soothing to skin. And let's start out with the very first one that actually got me started on this journey and kind of questioned questioning snail mucin more in general. This is specifically from V Green, which is one of the best K-beauty brands that I've ever come across that is simple, cruelty-free, and effective. If you have irritant-prone skin, Korean beauty in general is going to be good for you. But this one from V Green has been a favorite of mine. They have ceramides as well as hydrating, soothing ingredients such as wild yam mucin. They have taken the good, beneficial components of snail mucin and been able to extract those same basic molecules from yams, and they literally made the fragrance-free nature mucin serum with no snail from wild yam. Literally taking these compounds from a yam that is still hydrating and gooey and absorbent and wound healing to the skin. Now what's also great about this is that this has ceramides in it. Remember that ceramides make up 50% of the outer layer of our skin. And when our skin is damaged or hurt, or as we get older, we naturally lose those ceramides. And supplying the skin with a healthy dose of ceramides helps to restore a skin barrier and keep our skin healthy and happy. Now on top of that, they put arginine in this serum. Serum. Arginine is an amino acid that is phenomenal for the skin, and it has been shown in many studies to increase VEGF, vasoendothelial growth factor, basically how our skin creates new endothelial cells and keeps us healthy and keeps our skin and bodies strong. This is so hydrating, it is fragrance-free, and it is simple but effective with its ingredients. And when I was using this, I was like, holy shit, there's a vegan version that has most of, if not all, of the ingredients that snail mucin does, and it's less expensive? Why would I pay for the nasty, cruelty? induced snail mucin when I can get this. Now, I did also try some of their other products. They have cleansers. They have a really good ceramide cream if you're looking for something inexpensive in K-Beauty. But this one has also been a favorite of mine, and I've been recommending this to other people too. This is the alcohol-free mucin essence toner, non-snail by Wild Yam, and it's kind of like the more liquidy essence version of this. Now, I love this serum. You can use this under sunscreens, especially if you're irritant prone. You can use this under moisturizers at night if you want that moisturizer to actually 
push this into the skin and help to repair a skin barrier. But if you're looking for something a little bit more lightweight, this has been phenomenal. It's kind of like this light essence like jelly fluid. And this is a traditional K Beauty essence if you are looking for one. Only I love that it is fragrance free. Now, as you can see, this doesn't stick to my skin. There are some other serums and some other snail mucin products that are very slimy, very slippery, and very sticky. While this one is not, there is one from a brand called Mixoon that I came across, I've been using, and I love so much, I actually bought another one. The first one of these is all used up. So this is my second one. But this right here is literally a bean ferment. And this is the closest that I have been able to find to the actual texture of snail mucin. And let me show you what I'm talking about. When I pump this out, do you see how it's like stringy? It's connecting still. <laughs> it literally looks like slime in my hands. And watch what happens when I rub my hands together. Do you see that? This is literally like snail slime. Now the ingredients in this are really good. I feel like this brand is the ordinary of simple K-beauty routines. It is very, very simple and all of their products have just a couple of ingredients. But this one specifically has centella, AKA Gota Cola, along with this fermented bean. And holy shit, this is the craziest, slimiest serum I've ever used. Now a lot of people online have been using this as a way to extract blackheads. I have sebaceous filaments and I have not been able to get blackheads or sebaceous filaments really out of my skin with this, but I do use this as a slippery, slimy snail mucin serum. I do like the V Green one better because it doesn't stick to my face, but when I put this one on, once I do get it to rub in, it almost leaves behind like a little bit of an oily sheen. Like if I want that K Beauty James Welsh glow, this is what I'm going for. But if I want hydration, skin repair, acne blemish support to make sure that my skin's barrier isn't damaged, that's when I'm going for the V Green. And can you see how this kind of gives me like, it's almost like a little bit of a, a sheen it's not super oily, but I wouldn't know how else to describe it other than that K-Beauty glass skin glow. The Mixoon one is also a little bit more expensive, but this is one of the funnest products and it's the most realistic that I have been able to get to an actual snail mucin texture. Do you see that? It's so nasty that it's cool. Now, if you don't want a K-Beauty option, but you're looking for the benefits of snail mucin without the cruelty, without the ick factor, but also without the Korean beauty spin, Desium, babes, Desium really can came through. They have a brand called NIOD, which stands for Non-Invasive Options in Dermal Science. And these modulating glucosides have been a favorite of mine for years. This formula has multiple glucosides that literally work to desensitize the skin. If you're red, if you're irritant prone, if your skin is out of whack, this is built to help bring it back into balance. Glucosides actually come from glucose and you probably know glucose as a sugar molecule. It's often made by plants and it's very, very helpful to the skin, specifically because of how it brings hydration into the skin. And it can help with, you guessed it, wound support, wound healing, fine lines and wrinkle management, and even acne irritation and inflammation. This is beautiful. The girls at Beauty Within originally spoke about this and got me hooked on it. It is a little bit more expensive and it's a little bit more creamy. I would say this one is the most hydrating and like feels like nothing on the skin from V Green. I would say Mixoon is the most oily. And then this one, although it is a liquid, is definitely the most creamy of the bunch. Now, for some people, this is hit or miss. Some people love this. They say it helps to reduce their redness and their irritation, like it makes their skin look flawless. And other people say, this actually didn't work for me and it just didn't help my dryness and it wasn't the right fit. I can't say how it's going to be for you, but I will say that it is fragrance free and this was a total fit for me and my oily acne prone skin. And depending on your specific skin needs and what's already in your routine, one of these formulas may be better for you. I would love to know, like I know CauseRx has a ton of snail products. I'd love to know if there's like specific dupes for CauseRx that are vegan and cruelty free. And honestly, I wonder if there's more brands who are trying to make some because I think there's a lot that we can learn from snails without exploiting them and actually creating compounds that can be better absorbed by human skin. If you do want to stay hydrated, this is one of my favorites, but any of these three will work. And always remember to reapply your sunscreen because snail mucin doesn't matter if you're not protecting your skin. I love you and I cannot wait to bring you more updates about the truth behind the snail industry. So click here or hit subscribe if you want to make sure you don't miss it. <sighs> love you guys. Bye.